What's up guys, Skinner Rampage here. So today we have some anime Funko news updates. It does look like Demon Slayer has some restocks for Muichiro over at Funko HQ. We also do have Wave 2 being pushed until next year. We also do have some Attack on Titan updates on the Battle Levi exclusive, possibly being cancelled and some short stock issues, and even brand new My Hero Academia Funko Pops. So let's check it out. Hey guys, welcome back to another Funko Bob video. Today we have some anime news updates for you. This is going to be a little bit of a shorter video, but we do have a couple things to go over. But before we jump into that, we do have our question of the day, and that is, what is a Funko Bob set you are currently trying to complete? I'm very curious. I am currently trying to complete the Bleach set as well as the Full Metal Alchemist set. Though I pretty much have every Bleach Pop except for the fully unreleased uh, Holified Ichigo that's coming pretty soon here, as well as uh, Full Metal Alchemist I just need a couple more pieces for. Now jumping into our updates, firstly we do have a brand new My Hero Academia Funko Pop exclusive and that is Jiro over at GameStop. This is a Pop and T combo. As you can see this is Jiro with the microphone there. Actually a pretty cool one to be honest. I really like the t-shirt as well. Now something unique about this was the fact that most of the time when they make these tea bundles it's usually something glow-in-the-dark of a common, metallic, flocked, or something different from the common variations so they can use up that mold and use up that excess stock that they do have. But this is an entirely new mold, so that was actually pretty cool to see, to be honest. Now, of course, the question is, did we need a third Jiro Pop? Probably not, to be honest. We definitely could have gotten a different character. However, Silver lining here, this is a new mold and it does have an awesome t-shirt. So if you guys want to pick one up, it is currently available at GameStop right now and I think it's even included in their buy one get one free on their tea bundles right now. So make sure to go over to GameStop's website and take advantage of that deal right now. And just to let you guys know, it does look like according to GameStop's website, this will be releasing on October 11th, so only a month wait. Now shared from the Pop Goblin and Funko Pop News over at Instagram, it does look like Funko HQ did experience a small little restock of Muichiro. Now to remind you guys of a couple things, this was a Funko on exclusive as well as usually Comic-Con exclusives do not restock. So in the traditional sense, this isn't like a restock. It's more so this is extra stock that they had that they didn't sell that they put out to sell the remainder of. And for those who didn't know, if you weren't at the Funcon event over in Everett, they were actually giving out free wristbands. This was a free event. Everybody who got a wristband was able to purchase something. After a certain amount of time, they stopped giving out wristbands. So they weren't fully able to sell through all of their stock. So that's just what this stock is, I believe. That's all this is. So I don't want anybody to get their hopes up for a mass online restock or like thousands upon thousands coming back because again, usually con pops do not restock. They make a certain amount for the event. It's not like your traditional common where they produce like 50 to 70,000 of them. And I know people are probably upset and like, hey, why didn't they throw this stock online? Trust me, you didn't want them to do that because it was just going to be eaten up immediately. Immediately. It would have been gone immediately. It wouldn't have mattered. So then putting in the store at least gets other people a chance who maybe didn't get one or wasn't able to go to the event a chance at getting them. It does suck for anybody on the East Coast or other states of course but you got to understand that this was a Funko HQ only exclusive. It was only being sold there. They're not going to just change that all of a sudden because they have extra stock. And just to let you guys know, this is basically what I was talking about a while back when I said that there would be small restocks, maybe around 50 to anywhere from like 300 pops. Nothing too crazy, not in the thousands, not in the tens of thousands, just little small increments of like 50 at a time, for example, where it's just extra cases they found and they didn't fully sell through. So for those wondering, this is completely normal to see extra cases being sold like this. Now for those who care about the value of the pop, I do know this official con sticker is like $200 plus still somewhere around that range. I don't know if there was enough stock here to really affect that official sticker price for those who want it because to be honest, unless the people going here were go going to buy it specifically to undercut everybody else and sell it, that's the only way that it's going to go down to be honest. Alright guys, so those are my thoughts and opinions on the little restock that did happen over at HQ. I just wanted to make you guys aware for those who did not know. Now also for Demon Slayer, I do have an update on Wave 2. This includes Rengoku as well as Kano and a few other pops and exclusives that should be in that next wave. It does look like this wave was delayed until next year and this is according to Northeast Funko Beast because the other day we actually did share a couple different new things coming like IQ Funko Pops, Seven Deadly Sins, Disney Marvel and much more and all of those are slated for April of next year uh, in 2023 and Demon Slayer was right alongside those. So I can only guess here that these are also delayed until next year, unfortunately. I know a lot of people are really excited to see Ren Goku. They're probably having some more licensor issues. I have no idea, but I just want to let those know who are maybe confused about that. It does look like we could see these next year for an announcement now. Of course, if anything changes with that or maybe Funko kind of speeds up the process of this announcement, 
announcement. I'll definitely let you guys know in the future, but for now, it is looking like a 2023 release. I know a lot of you guys were looking forward to a Rinkoku Funko Pop. We're going to have to wait a little bit longer. Now, our update for Battle Levi is a little bit of an interesting situation here because there are some cancellations and delays going on with this pop. Now, I talked about this the other day on my Instagram a little bit, and for those who don't follow me, make sure to go follow me over there because I do post a lot of different updates on there and links to new products. Now, Basically what's going on is everybody who ordered Battle Levi, it doesn't matter who you ordered from, they got shorted stock. Like legit. For example, one company orders 10,000 Battle Levi's, they only receive 2,000. So that means they can only fulfill 2,000 of those 10,000 orders. And if I'm not mistaken, every company who did order in this Levi and sell it was affected by this. This was basically a shortage directly from Funko to Alliance Entertainment, which is the exclusive holder of Levi. And for those who don't know, Deep Discount, the website where a lot of people are kind of questioning if they want to order from them or not, is actually owned by Alliance Entertainment, if I'm not mistaken. They either own them or they do a lot of their distributing through them. Anyways, the reason I'm mentioning Deep Discount is because they currently have Battle Levi in stock on their website for $11.99. That is the only place that I've really seen that has it in stock to ship right now. And it is arriving basically in a fitted box essentially. It's not the best shipping to be honest, but a lot of people have gotten theirs either in really mint or some damage. I haven't heard too many damage stories, but then again, I only have so much reach here. Now I don't work for any of these companies, so I don't fully understand the logistics. I'm not going to claim to, but using context clues, what I'm gathering here is that I posted Levi on my story the other day and something like 11, 1200 people clicked that link, went over to the website and let's assume every person bought that. And then other sites posted it, other like news pages posted the same link. It's still in stock right now. So that means they definitely have a good amount of stock left. They've blown through all of their pre-orders or their, all their pre-orders are basically starting to ship out basically. Because again, using context clues here, and if I'm not mistaken, if it's in stock on their website, shouldn't they be sending all of that stock to all of these retailers that are having shortage issues from you? Doesn't that feel weird? Like that, that seems weird. It seems like they're prioritizing their own sales over all these vendors who ordered from them. And that's kind of messed up. I'm not gonna lie. That's a little messed up. If you really look at it all and put it all together, that's what it looks like. Again, I don't fully understand all logistics. I'm not gonna claim to, but that's kind of what it looks like. So if that is the case and they are holding on to all this extra stock to be able to just sell on their website freely like that, it's kind of messed up because it creates a lot of chaos at all these other vendors because it creates a lot of cancellation issues and some people have already put out cancellations. You now have all these owners of these businesses concerned at how they're going to get these orders out on time and how they're going to break the news. Hey, we don't have all our stock. So it is a little bit of a crappy situation, but I wanted to let you guys know what was going on with this Levi battle, the shortage issues and everything like that on the off chance that your pop maybe got canceled or maybe it's heavily delayed. All right guys, that's everything that I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy, make sure to hit that like button down below. Actually, just, just punch it, punch the like button down below for me. Now with that, I do wanna say a big shout out to all my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate your love and support. If you guys wanna check out the Patreon, the link is down below. We have a Patreon only Discord where we share a lot of information, news, restocks, updates, links, and more. We also have a Facebook group with over 15 thousand members that spy, sell, and trade. And make sure to be following me on all my social medias, all at Skittle Rampage, for more updates. All right, love you guys. See you guys in the next one. See you guys later. Bye.